death to the mass media business model. The internet did not kill news, it's not killing journalism, it's not killing media, not killing our attention spans, it just killed our business model. It killed the business model of reach and frequency and trying to give messages to the mass. We know the effects of what's brought this about. We know that the internet has brought improvement to what we do. Abundance versus scarcity, relevance versus noise, open versus closed, but yet we still hang on to our old ways because we still hang on to our old business model. We hang on to the idea that we owned the gateway to information, we owned the advertiser, and lastly, we owned distribution, but guess what, we don't have that anymore. It's gone, we've gotta forget about it. We never had it in the first place. But yet, I think we still hold on to an entitlement. We still think because we used to own the news and the audience and the information that we still should. Because we had our old business model and our old revenue, Google should bring it back to us. Nonetheless, I see some progress here. I think we should celebrate that Google AMP came from Newsgeist and was started really in great measure here. I, I for one, celebrate our new overloads. Uh, I, for one, think that there's a real advantage to this new world. So when we get to the joke of what's the Uber of news, we are. We are taking our news to the people rather than making them always come to us. I think that's a good thing. Uber, I mean, uh, uh, BuzzFeed has four billion interactions off its site, but one billion on. The problem is, with all those things we just talked about, we're still concentrating on the article, the story. We still think we're just storytellers. I would argue that's only one thing that we do. And our response to everything is to make more content and more content and more content. The problem is we have too much content. I used to think the answer to that was curation. It's not. It's making less content and making it fucking better. And, and, and we've got to get past this idea that making more and more and more works, that we move the dial to 11, and that we always go for volume over value. More content, more audience, more advertising availabilities, surely we'll make it up on volume and it will all come out okay in the end. That model's not gonna work anymore. Instead, we have to rebuild journalism around relevance, around the utility, around knowing where people live and knowing what they need and giving them what they need and helping them improve their lives. That's the future of journalism in my view is as a service, and that's why my colleague Sarah Bartlett and I started social journalism as a new program to turn journalism on its head, start with the community, understand its needs, and then and only then bring the tools of journalism to help them meet their needs. We are still measuring journalism the wrong way. It's all media-centric. Enough about you. Did you like my story? Did you link to my story? Did you click on my story? How long did you spend with my story? Well, fuck my story. Did the public get what they needed? That's what we need to think about with journalism, but we measure the wrong things. What is our value in people's lives? Do we help people improve their lives? Do we help them improve their communities? Unless we do that, then we might as well close up shop, but I believe we do. Yet we have to remeasure our entire business around value. We have to invent entirely new companies. One that looks at need, one that looks at knowledge, what do we know as a, as a public? Now you might say that Google does that, but Google has just started with just content too. Google has many frontiers in understanding what we know. And the most important company is Fixco. How do we fix the problems in the world? How do we as journalists have a role in helping people do that? How are we servants to the public in helping the public meet their goals? We have so much more to do. But I want to remind you that after Gutenberg, it took 150 years before anyone thought to invent a newspaper, that which we think is so self-evident. Thus, we've only begun. We've hardly started. We don't know what the fuck the internet is yet. The future of news will look as strange to us as the newspaper did to the town crier, as the printed book did to the scribe. We don't know what it is yet, and yet we can't stand back and think we know what the models are. I tell my students not to aspire to the past that they see, but instead to disrupt their future. I'm too old to know where this turns out. 1472 in Gutenberg years I, means I will not be around, and maybe those people will invent the future, or maybe they're too old too. Maybe the person who's inventing the future is yet to come to a garage to rethink what journalism can be, to rethink what it is. So what the hell are we going to do since we don't know what the future is? I give you one choice only. It's time to fucking play werewolf. <laughs>